first planning out ideas for the t-shirt, the one thing that I really wanted to put was something that was related to Korea, which made me think of the coordinates to Seoul as one of the first ideas. That was the one thing that I really wanted to keep in this project, but only putting the coordinates was a little plain to my liking. So that's when I took Adobe Illustrator into hand and I gotta say that this was probably the most hardest part about making the t-shirt was because it was my first time that I actually learned to use Adobe Illustrator. It took a lot of trial and error and the design was actually going to be inspired with Korean traditional window frames and the symbols along with the coordinates. So basically as I started to get more and more symbols and I started to get more into it, slowly but surely the final outcome was coming out and I would have to say that I am pretty satisfied with everything that has come out so far so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and just see the process of me making the t-shirt so today I'm here to do a meeting and as you guys can tell this isn't my final logo but somewhere in the making of where I want it to be and also there's fabrics here as you guys can see I need to pick um, this is all the types of cotton. I didn't even know that there were so many different types of cotton and just how it is. So I'm just gonna be happy to fill it out and see what type of cotton I like the best. And yeah. This one's a little bit too soft. I want it kind of to be a little bit stiff so that it holds a more boxy fit, but not too stiff that it's uncomfortable. So that's gonna be hard to find, I don't know. Hmm. So as you guys can see with this one, it's not see-through and that is something that I want because I don't want it to like see-through and also be see-through so um, I'm going to be finding a type of fabric that's a little bit more on the thicker side. Hmm. So now we're trying to pick a white fabric but there's so many different types of fabric and they're all different in thickness and I don't know what to pick so we're just trying to see which matches or what type of feel I want for the t-shirt. So now we are picking the logo for the back side. To be honest, there's not a logo that I like here because this one's a little bit too small and this one's a little bit too big. So I kind of want one in the middle of these two and then I told her that. So hopefully that will go well. Hey guys, so today is a big day. The samples came out and I'm super excited because it took such a long time to get to this point. So I'm super excited to see how the samples turned out and I'm kind of nervous, but hopefully they turned out good and you guys are gonna be seeing it. We're gonna be seeing it together, so yes, let's go. This is it. This is going to be the medium in white and I wanna show you guys the back because spent so much time on this. Wow. <gasps> so pretty. I will be revealing what this is later because it's in the front and it's also in the back. But yes, keep on watching guys. Also, we have one more color here. Not just one. I did a black with the same thing but except that it's gonna be red here. And then the back is also going to be the same except guys look at that <gasps> i honestly don't know which color i like better i like both this is the back for both of them honestly both of them turned out so good <gasps> i was kind of worried that the red might look weird but they both look so good she's helping me measure and get the measurements Look guys, my label came out. Oh. So I just finished up with the measurements and I'm super happy how it turned out. Um, now all I need to do is take pictures and also just do a little bit of the final details of what I need to do to upload it on the site and then it's going to be in your guys' hands. So. Wow, Subin. I'm kind of nervous, guys. 
I'm wearing it for the first time. These are clean. Like I could, I could lick, lick it off, you know. But um, for the picture, for the picture. Yeah, it's so funny because this is like something I would wear, and this is. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that's that's crazy. It's Omma. Wait, I have a question. Um, what? What do you guys wear? Do you guys wear black socks with the concords or the white socks with the concords? Because they're white, so you would think that you have to wear white socks, but the lining on the inside is black. I no. like it like this. With the black? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, okay, okay. I'm good. Good, I'm good, I'm good. It's creasing. It's creasing. No, that's not. How do you feel? The, How do you feel? It's creasing right here. The, There's a crease now. No, the, the crease means right here. Whatever. Like you're gonna have to give me when you see me walking oh. this, you're gonna laugh. Okay, I am gonna laugh. I always laugh. <laughs> Love is love. Love is love. Love is love. Um, by the time that this video is out, the t-shirt is going to be out and you guys are going to be able to purchase the t-shirt. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so just the first thing that I want to say is thank you guys so much for the people who um, knew about the t-shirt. Um, I recently, in my previous video, mentioned that I will be releasing a t-shirt on Thursday. And for those people who did watch that video and gave such great feedback and also just so much positive words, you know, saying that it's okay, that I don't need to worry because I was very worried um, just upon this launch. And now we are here and uh, it just, feels so good. Um, it just kind of feels like I got something like off my shoulder too because it's something that I've just been kind of working on, kind of stressed about, um, at the same time like super excited about. So yes, before we end the video, I just kind of wanted to give you guys just like a little bit of a talk about the t-shirt and um, just how I kind of started and why I wanted to make the t-shirt. So a little backstory for those of you guys who may not know. Um, before I did like, you know, come to Korea, before I did YouTube, before I did K-pop, um, before I just did all of that, you know, singing, dancing, I originally was supposed to go to Parsons, the new school of design for fashion design. And um, I was set to go. I had, you know, all of my classes already admitted into and just everything was set and all I needed to do was go. But um, things happen and you know life kind of takes you in directions that you don't know and I ended up coming to Korea to fulfill you know just a dream that I also had was you know to sing and dance so that's how I first came along and I think that even me being in Korea and as years passed I still had something in my heart saying um, that I kind of wanted to kind of design again go back into it there were many times upon me being in Korea, um, thinking should I go back to school, should I study again, should I go do fashion design and I think that for me, in the place I am right now, this was the best that I could do. Um, this was what I wanted to do so I have you guys, you guys are so amazing and also a message that I could kind of spread to people through this platform and also just my ability to just kind of be learning new things because it was my first time that I learned Adobe Illustrator and I think that it really kind of tested just where I wanted to go in terms of this and I would have to say that this isn't probably going to be my last time since um, I designed something I really enjoyed it and I really hope that you guys saw that through this video. So just a little bit about the t-shirt now. Um, the t-shirt comes in two colors. There is a white t-shirt that has black designs and it comes in a size medium and large and there is going to be a black t-shirt 
um, with red designs and it also comes in a medium and a large. Uh, I am so glad that I did a medium and a large because initially the team kind of wanted me to go for just a one size t-shirt but um, I didn't think that a one size t-shirt would kind of be having the fit that I wanted. There was a certain fit that I pictured in my head um, when people would wear this t-shirt. It was more of like an oversized boxy t-shirt for the girls and then for the guys it was just your regular t-shirt. So I did want to make it two sizes because I felt like with one size that was not going to be capable. So I hope you guys do understand that. Um, for the girls, if you guys are wondering, I wore a size medium for the white t-shirt and I would have to say the size medium does fit a little bit more better for me but at the same time I could wear a large size too. I think it just depends on preference of what you guys want to wear and how you guys want the fit to be. I just want to talk a little bit about why I ended up finalizing um, Soul City and why you know, I ended up just kind of going with this design. For those of you guys who know, the shirt is called Soul City. And that is because that's where I am based now. It's where my parents are from. It's a place where I dreamed and thrived in um, for about six years. So, so it's definitely been a really big impact in my life. Um, I spent most of my 20s here. And I think that without me being in Seoul, it definitely would be different. Um, I wouldn't be here right now. Things would definitely be different. I would be probably in and all doing fashion design for a company. Like it's so different. And um, I really just wanted to kind of incorporate that into just a shirt. Uh, I wanted it to be not too overpowering, but I did want it to have a message. And that is the reason why I did the coordinates to Seoul because I thought that it would be kind of a more of a subtle type of way to showcase Seoul. Um, so, those of you guys, if somebody ever asks you what the numbers are on your shirt, you could just say they're the coordinates to Seoul and maybe strike up a conversation um, just talking about Seoul or just, you know, a conversation about like. Korea or K-pop or anything, um, that was the initial reason why I wanted to make the shirt um, is that that was just like a simple message that I wanted to put out there and yeah, it's just been a hell of a ride me being in Seoul but without Seoul I wouldn't have been able to just be here and all the people that I met in Seoul um, such great people and yeah, that's the reason why I ended up making this t-shirt as well and just the design of why I stuck with it so, so for those of you guys who are wondering um, when you guys can purchase the t-shirt, you guys can purchase the t-shirt right now and also for two weeks. I'm going to be opening up the time slot for two weeks. Um, I didn't want to open it up for too long because there are probably other designs that I might have um, wanting to put out. So I'm going to be up putting it up for two weeks and just leave it in the comments down below. Any comments you guys have about the t-shirt, I will take everything with an open heart, the good and the bad. Um, and yes, thank you guys so much for watching. And like, comment, and subscribe. Woo! And yeah, go check out the t-shirt, guys. Bye! Thank you, thank you, thank you.